I know what I want to play. I just realized what I want to build. I want to build a drain deck with kegs. I'm getting out aggroed by a lot of stuff. A lot of stuff is out aggroing me these days. It could be a GP deck, yes. It might be a GP deck, actually. No, what, why am I playing this? I, I want to play this with Twisted Fate. Twister. All right, so how are we going to build this? What does this want to play with? I mean, Gangplank's really good if we're going for that, right? Is Gangplank better than Thresh? I think he is. And what would be the build around for this? Bark Beast is really good with kegs, if we have a lot of kegs. Let's see what kegs we have as options. So triple this and triple this. Let's see what we have for draw. Like a double salvage should be enough. Glimpse is really good if we're playing kegs as well. It gives us a target. Rekindler is not bad at all. Now, what is our win condition? Is GP our win condition? Is Twisted our win condition? Or is there another win condition we're not looking for yet? What if we just do one of each? One Ledros, one Arm, um, Dreadway. Just to have it as a possibility. Dreadway is still good on its own because it draws Gangplank. So I kind of like that. Yeah, I can just use um, Twisted Fate as, um, as a normal card. Box isn't bad. I actually might try Box in this deck. Like this is feeling like a super control deck. Make it rain is really good here. Go for the nab package. I can't. I can't fit it. It doesn't fit. It's too many cards in order to run it. Do we have enough draw? We have double salvage. We have triple glimpse. I think that is enough draw for this deck. This has a lot of value removal. So how do we how do we beat um how do we beat Ash Sejuani? Does this deck beat Ash Sejuani? It might not have enough reach. I think we play Vengeance. Like two Vengeances. I think this is good. This might be bad. I don't know. Anti aggro drain. Let's see how it feels, and then we'll go for something different. Let's see how this feels. Why no Rex? Because I don't have Warning Shot, and I think Rex needs Warning Shots. Why not Atrocity for Wincon? Because I don't have early enough of a chance to use it, so it's going to be a dead card until very late game. And if I'm Control, I'm hoping I can actually win the late game via other methods. This is a good starting hand. Actually, it's pretty good. Nothing beats Ashley's one. Hey, you'd be surprised. I'm sure there are ways to build decks around. Okay. I'm going to open with a Dreadway here. Oh, okay. Zuran. It's kind of nice. Let's kill that off for now. We'll play the attack with the Dreadway here. It's not a bad start. It's not a bad start at all. Okay. Really easy response. Because if he attacks with both, I can just block and this becomes a 3 3. He could have Mystic Shot if he wants. That's pretty good. It's a pretty good play by him. Um, Let's go for this. gonna be weird um one cost follower i think is good here i want to get as much value out of this as possible i like this attacking i should have attacked with this as well he could get rid of a vision because i think he's blocking mostly with draven here and i'm setting up the aoe hit from withering whale which is pretty nice What's the win con of this deck? Out control the board, get super value, and then win. That's also a really good option. That's a really that's a better option to withering well, I think, actually. Cause now I can um respond with this if necessary. Like we have so much AoE removal on this deck. Always use Keck to make it rain. Yeah, but I'm not gonna make it rain here. Profit red card, yep, indeed. Jinx stands for Jinx, huh? Nice. Who would have thought? I'm gonna- I don't know if I'm gonna take this hit or not. It's a tough decision to make. I've got a lot of healing in this deck. I think I'm just gonna take the hit. I'm gonna just open attack with everything now. I repeat the weirdest stuff, do I? How so? Block? I don't think I block. Hello, Grap. Glad I could catch the stream tonight. Yeah, what's up, Benji? I'm glad you could catch it too, man. Other turn, we're gonna go to 11 damage with open. We have a better open attack ourselves, and if he blocks, he we get um, value trades. He could, for example, level up his Jinx and block with that, but then we have the Withering Whale counter. That's almost certainly a card he can't level up with, I feel. 
I'm just gonna kill her before he can get the level up. The reason I feel more comfortable taking the Jinx hit is because this deck runs every heal card basically in the game. It runs multiple Witherings, multiple Grafts, Vile Feasts, everything you could hope for. So I feel very comfortable um, letting that go through. Let's draw some cards. Make it rain's great. This is pretty great. Yeah. GG, boys. All right. 1-0 so far. How are you doing, crap? Hope you have a nice day. I'm doing fantastic, MJ. I think this deck is super strong versus um, the discard card deck because it has so many ways to deal with the 1 HP drops. But how good is it versus Ash, Ash Sejuani? I'm not sure. It looks pretty good. It feels pretty good, too. What about an unyielding Slotbot deck? Sucks, because Slotbot's not strong enough of a win condition. It doesn't have Overwhelm. If it had Overwhelm, it could be good. But without it, it just it just gets jump-locked nonstop. All right, this is the really big test to see how we, how we fare. Um, Versus that deck, we want to draw what? Is it good to hold out the Gangplank, considering you have a 1-and-2 drop and a 4-drop? I can see it being decent. Parlay box is not bad. Hey. Reeve was taken with a gifted tier 1 sub to Borkmeyer. Thank you very much, Breve. That's very kind of you. 11 subs for the night. Thanks, guys, for the support. Thank you to everybody. It's very kind of you. For real. For real. It's not bad. I kind of like that. This could be rough, depending what he hit. Got a really good Twisted Fate on 4. Maybe we can actually try to level up Twisted Fate this game because of the Vengeance. Since once you drop Shijuani, it's not that big of a deal. Let's stun that. I don't want to deal with that. This is going to level up my Bark Beast as well to 3-3. Three, three. Yes, we have 7-7 seven, seven subs. Is that wrong or just troll? It's not wrong. Um, keep in mind, every day we lose subs that we got 30 days ago. This is my total sub count. So I do lose subs every day, right? For people who um, subbed with Twitch Prime, for example. So whoever subbed 31 days ago, for example, those subs I lose. So it's a balancing act of how many I gain versus how many I lose. Am I going for Twisted Fate here? Do I like that? For, um, I mean, to draw three cards, I think it's too early. I think this card is really good as a hero card. I want to, I want to burn his, um, Fury of the North. If he's going to use it on him, I don't mind that. So it is a Fury of the North, right? Because this is a very un inefficient way to kill this. Oh, okay. Let's draw. I like drawing here. This is this is actually a really good setup. Dreadway into Vile Feast to kill this off. I like that play a lot. I can even actually this is the best one. What am I saying? Let's just go for this. Let him waste his buff cards now. Okay. He's down to 1 HP. Now we have... Oh, okay, we're, we're doing... Oh, wait. No, no, no. He's down to 2. Never mind. Never mind. Yeah, we're looking solid. We're looking solid to win this. I think we'll open up with um Gangplank. See, Jawani is an issue. A little bit of an issue. But not a huge one. Because we can just Vengeance immediately if he sees Jawani's. If he doesn't see Jawani, I guess we're just going to drop this and see what he does in response. Because I don't want to waste these cards unless necessary. Valfis is really strong here. See so a response to this. He can have another buff. Perfect. Perfect. Great start, actually. Let's uh, draw cards. Three out of eight. Okay. We're still zero out of five on Gangplank. That's a bit of an issue. I like making space on board. Okay, so we have a make it rain set up, which is nice. One point on him. Victory requires a sharp blade. Okay. He didn't have a way to kill my my dude last turn. Well, that's a lot of draw. Let's just hope we hit this. Oh wow, that's pretty good. Cure of reckoning. Yeah, he can have Reckoning. I have answers to it, though, next turn. We're fine. Oh, 
This is gonna be on YouTube. Depends how well the deck does, honestly. It depends how well the deck does. If he reckonings here, I play Vengeance immediately. Because he could have a buff. You own what you take. I think we'll just um pass here. I think we're just gonna Vengeance this guy. Because we're getting close. We're 5 out of 8, right? We're getting pretty close to the level up. I don't think we let them kill this at all. Honestly. Let's do this. I want, I want him to spend resources on this that he can't afford to spend. Like, there's a lot of resources he can't afford to spend at this point. Now we're not dying to Reckoning, per se. Alright, what's his follow-up here? We've got this plus the box. Wait, what died this this game? We lost one of him, right? Petty Officer. What am I looking to do here? I think I'm dropping down Gangplank here. Guys, I'm not going to double TF until I level him up. I might just play Petty Officer over Gangplank if he's going to Reckoning. Dreadway is kind of cool. It's a good blocker unit. But the problem is Reckoning just destroys Gangplank. Uh, I'm worried, actually. I'm actually worried about this. I'm, I'm gonna drop him now. We got a pretty good the box. If he plays more units instead of Reckoning. Let's see what he plays. Alright, now he doesn't have mana for Reckoning. Um, do I let him attack with this? I can't let him level up. I'm just gonna play this now. Because if he attacks with this, he might have one freeze to level him up. And this is still hitting for four. Wow, TF levels next turn. That's pretty sick. What do you mean, why, guys? I had to do it. That was the turn to do it. That was the turn to do it, guys. I had no choice. Make board space. I like to keep my mana options up now. There it is. There's the TF, boys. I can't play Rekindler yet, though. Because if he has Reckoning, I lose him. I lose to Reckoning, so I'm going to play as if he has it the entire time. He's going to kill my guy. Wow, all of his guys are dead. Sweet. Sweet! All your six attack guys are gone. They be missing in action. Uh, very nice. Very, very nice. Insane deck. It's been fun so far. I agree. Let's um, let's kill this off as well. Actually, do we kill this off? He, for four mana, what can he drop? That's dangerous. I want I want to kill his last Ash if he drops her. I need to make board space, and I want to level up my Gangplank as well. Yeah, Fury is a concern as well. He needs to play Ash here, right? I gotta kill it off. Because next turn he could have Fury into Reckoning. I can't hit the Hawkeyes because it drops him down to one. And I, I don't have enough burst spells to kill him with. I think this is better. Alright. If he has Reckoning here, it's not a big deal. Because now we finally have um, Rekindler to play into that. And plus, this guy's staying alive. I want to see what I draw with this. Hey, Grap, you play other games or just Runeterra? I do play other games, yes. I do play other games. That's so much draw. It is. Now I drop my Rekindler and I'm good to go. That would have been nice to have last turn, unfortunately. This is way better. It's way stronger than playing this. I'm going to play this next turn, and then I have doubling off of everything that I do. 
how good is this? How, how does this play into Reckoning? We have six mana if we play that. Is that a problem? Does it cost me the game? Oh, it summons GP. Oh, you're right. You're right, never mind. I'm Papega, guys. I'm Papega. It summons GP, you're right. I could just grasp. I know I could just grasp, you're right. I forgot that my um, TF is dead. It's feeling solid. I'm, I'm liking it so far. I don't think it's a counter to Sage Wani Ash. I think we had a really good start. I think our start was just really strong. Reckoning still messes us up super hard. So this is a day one Dura list. This could be really hard to beat. I like this hand. I've been binge watching your vids for the past three days, and I've been wanting to ask you what's the best meta deck after patch. Ash Sage Wani probably, unfortunately. Probably Ash Sage Wani. I hate to say it, but it's really strong. It feels really, really strong. I don't know if that pass was correct. I'm not sure if that pass was the best pass. He could fear the north here. But that, it's not a huge deal if he does. Because it, it delays his turn by a lot as well. He's onto one mana. Two mana, discard two cards. How good is that? That's really good, isn't it? Two mana, force your opponent to discard two cards feels amazing. I like that. Yeah, that feels solid as hell. That's usually the best way to um to decide whether you want to do that or not. Just ask yourself, is that effect something I would play? If I had a two mana card that forced him to discard two cards, would I play it? Of course. I'd instantly play it. I'd love to have that card. I would love for that to exist. By that logic, you do play it there. Okay, um, it's a pretty easy open attack into probably gold card on his Callista or something weird. Vile Feast kind of punishes a little bit. Actually, it punishes quite a bit, but we still have to go for it. Now we're going to want to try to level up Twisted Fate if possible. How do you always call the card they play? It's just practice. You just come to realize by the, by the act they did last turn, you start to decide... What is it most likely they're going to have in play? And you, and you play around it, of course. What do you think the smooth soloist needs to be in the meta? I don't know. Better, better, better cantrip cards, I would say. Like, better cards that draw off of themselves. I think the nerf to um, Shadow Assassin was really bad for soloists, for example. Because you want units that can, like, cut their cost in half and draw cards free in the same time. Does Dick run... No, it doesn't run smooth soloist, no. For example, I think um, Bjerg, Babbling Bjerg would be really good with Smooth Solos, but you're never playing Smooth Solos with Freljord, are you? I don't think you are. I mean, maybe you do. Stuff like that I think is really good. This is pretty strong of a drop. I'm going to drop it now. He only has two mana. I'm okay with that. I could have not dropped it. It's whatever. I lose the Kag and that's about it. Try to make Smooth Solos Tusk Raider deck. I mean, it could be okay. I like this body because we want to start leveling this guy. He's 2 out of 5 already. Which is super, super strong. I think we'll attack with everything here. Because of the grasp we have on this guy. This guy's a 2-1. He dies to literally every spell he has. So we're not going to level this ever. We might as well just use it as a 2-2 body. Lowering this down 2 HP is really strong. We still do have um, Dreadway Deckhand into Grasp and Dying to kill this off. Vengeance on this, how annoying is that? I wonder. Do you forget about Fury? No. I'm aware it's possible. I'm aware it's a possibility. So I guess we're going to play Dreadway Deckhand after this. He doesn't seem to have Vile Feast, so that kind of guarantees me the kill on this next turn, which is really nice. Well, that's a weird play. I'm going to do this while I still... That's super unlucky. 25% chance to happen. Yeah, it is what it is. You can't help it sometimes. I really wish I didn't do that now. <laughs> Oh, okay. That's a really good draw. Quick maths. Yes, sir. This feels solid. He could have another Fury of the North, but he really got him to waste one. So, let's go for it. Oh, no! Wait, how is it not at 2 HP? How, how is this at 3 HP? Wait, 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 wait. Somebody explain this to me, guys. Because I'm bad? Riot punishes you for stupid plays like that? 
Oh my god, this guy was almost Papega. He was almost Papega. We almost got him, guys. Oh no, we almost got him. Oh, what a shame. Visual bug, most likely. I have no idea. I don't think it is a visual bug. I think we're just screwed. 3 to 5. Open attack 4 to 5. I really wish I could kill that. I think I will swing here. It's a lot of damage to face. You start trying to burn him down. It's, it's not bad. Let's see what he plays next. If it's an undying, dude, okay. I can kind of survive that. Um, I'm going to need the rekindler to be down for that, though. We have a really good um, powder keg here build up. We can draw into one of our removals. So I'm not, I'm not too mad at this. That's a really fat dude. And it draws me my last gangplank, my, my other gangplank. I kind of like that. Wow, okay. Let's go for this. That's the best play we're going to get. He's hitting me for a lot of damage, unfortunately. If he has atrocity, I think he might just win the game. Depending on what he draws. It's not necessarily a one game if he has atrocity. That's the right play. That's what he was supposed to do. So we kill this off, right? Actually, we just level up our, our dude, I think, here. Oh, that's really good for us. Six damage to anything. Do we just win the game? <laughs> Oh no, I should have gone face, actually. I should have gone face. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. We won anyway, guys. <laughs> we won anyway. It doesn't matter. We Gucci boys. Got him. DMing. Guys. Guys, it's okay. It's fine. It, it was... It was... We knew we had the win, right? Uh, like, we, we only lose to... To Glimpse. <laughs> Oh no, not playing around the six damage parlay. He, he should have played around it. All right, we're we're what, 3-0 now, huh? That's not bad. I've been playing um, Lux Thresh on ladder. Should I change it up? Depends. Are you winning games? If you're winning games, stick with it. My, my answer to that is play whatever is most fun for you. Just enjoy the game. You don't see me playing Ashley's Rwan, even though I think I would climb super fast with it. It's a super strong deck. I just don't feel like playing it. I don't enjoy it. Imagine losing in a card game to Connor Murphy. Imagine that. Another Deho Endure list. Okay. Poros and Ranked. So Elise is a bit annoying to play against. That's not a big deal. I could have killed that in case he has the 3 2. Well, well, well. What do we have here? Could you imagine if that happened next turn instead of this? How sick that would be? I could have just boxed him instantly. Is this a Dread Nova deck? Um, I don't know what I would this, what I would call this deck to be honest. This is a control list basically. Don't know how else to describe it. I want to see what he plays on three. Does he pass? I pull the string. If he's gonna glimpse, I might as well have him glimpse a 4-2. It's a really good removal. This dies no matter what, basically. I, I guess he could he could vile feast my powder keg. But then at least we have a 1-1 one, one blocker. Okay. I'm not mad at it. Like we've we've stabilized to an extent. And we still have this available. So his next play is gonna be absolutely struck to death. Ooh, it's a nice card. That opens up options. Usually Thresh and Powder Monkeys are better in this deck. It's a different deck though, if you do it that way. I like TF. For what he offers. I can't block that. I'm not mad at that. I mean, I kind of am. I'm kind of unhappy. But we have a lot of 1 HP damage cards. Like, for example, if we draw a TF top deck, that's pretty good for us as well. Like, a TF top deck is really good. I don't think he trades any of these. I'm being sniped, guys. Oh, oh, never mind. Never mind. Never mind. Never mind. We're not being sniped, guys. <laughs> We're not being sniped, guys. It's okay. It's okay. I, I thought I was being sniped until that happened. Box. Why is Box ever good here? I'm just killing him off for no reason. That's a bad card here. He didn't have Vile Feast. 
I'm just gonna play this. He didn't have Vile Feast. Box is horrible there, guys. You never box there. there you are. Oh yeah. Oh yes. Now we now we now we party. It's not box time, guys. It's TF time. We save box for later. Box is so good down the line. And now we box. <laughs> now we box, boys. Chick, 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 ching. That's okay. All right, we're, we haven't won yet, though. Like we're not even like the moment he plays Dehu and Dur is gonna be 50-50. We're like super dead to Dehu and Dur, so I'm a little concerned. I'm not concerned anymore, guys. I was concerned before. At the moment, though, not that concerned. Not that concerned at the moment. The hell is that? Come on, drop the Callista, drop the Callista, drop the Callista, drop the Callista, drop the Callista. Callista's a 3-drop, right? I mean, I'm, I don't care. You know what, YOLO? I, fuck it. I, I, can't, I can't not kill these two off now. I, now I gotta go for it. Now I just have to go. Kill them all. Yeah. So he doesn't have Callista. We, we played it right. We played it good. Free box. Who's the fate out of eight? Holy crap, dude. How am I going to win if he has one more of those? Somebody help me. I should have played this first, though. That's whatever. How am I going to win if he has more of those? Barking glimpse. I should have barked first. Nah, I, I messed up. I messed up the order there. I need to level up this guy. That's the most important thing right now. Level up TF somehow. So I can perma-stun his guy. I, th I think we lost. I think it's over, guys. What a dead card. Ah. Maybe I shouldn't have attacked. I think I have to attack, though. I need to start pushing damage to face. Like, I'm going to lose late game if I can't level up TF. Please don't have top decked off of that. You're an you're Daywinder. Okay. Five out of eight. At least it gives me a card to play. I'll deny that. It's something. It's something, guys. He doesn't seem to have Dehu and He would have played it. Just don't top deck it. Don't you dare top deck it there. Don't you dare top deck a Dehu and Don't you dare. Don't be that sick. Thank God. We're just gonna open attack YOLO. I have no choice here. I just gotta make a board. Imagine if he had Ronation. Imagine if he was one of the only guys running Ronation in this game. You gotta block with this. You gotta block, buddy. You're going to have to block with him. Okay, that works better. Rip never late, yeah. He needs the never late to be alive, basically. Please don't draw Dehu and Dur. It's all I ask for, buddy. Don't draw a Dehu and Dur. Don't have drawn it. You're not that sick of a human being, are you? Good, good, good. Alright, come on. Gangplank or something. Something good. That's a good card. That's a pretty good card. Maybe it's one of the best cards, actually. Believe it or not. You can't attack with that. What are you doing? What are you doing, bro? The only way I can play it. He has to heal for two there. Come on. Big cards. Big cards. He's got two blockers. He's got two blockers now. 
Withering Will. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh huh. Okay. Let's go for this. Wait, do I do I open with this first though? Do we just start playing cards so he can't block? I think so. I could theoretically miss this guy. <laughs> what a god! What a god at the game, boys! What an absolute god! Got him! I could have theoretically missed. <laughs> oh, I love this game. I love this game, man. Oh, what a great game. <laughs> 4 and 0, oh, boys. 4 and 0. Oh. Uh, would you mind closing the hacks? You've got to use what you got, guys. When confirmed. Will you ever do deck guides in YouTube channel? I don't know. I don't know. Maybe. Maybe down the line. I'm not opposed to the idea. Saludos desde Panama. Jose Jordi. Jose Jordi. Que lo que a mi amigo. Que sopa. Bienvenido al stream. Yo viví en Panamá un tiempo. No sé si lo sabías. Bienvenido, mi amigo. BR? I live in Brazil, yes. But I was... I was born in Serbia. I was just telling the guy that I um that I lived in Panama for a while as well. Because he said hello from Panama. You need to create Make It Rain Advanced Guide on YouTube or 1001 Ways to Correctly Miss Your Shots. That's not a bad title actually. Um This is so obvious what I'm doing. But he's gonna pass here because he's looking at a make it rain, and he can't drop Zed because of that. He can't play Zed into Make It Rain. Well, he could do that, actually. Okay. It's not bad. That's not bad. I don't mind that at all. That's absolutely fine with me. If he wants to open attack into this, like, what do you play now? Okay. Bit of a weird spot to be in. You're gonna be the next Arnold Schwarzenegger. One of my idols, for sure. Arnold's, uh... Um, if, you, if you need somebody to look up to, Arnold's one of the people. Sure, he's made mistakes in life, but what he has achieved as an immigrant in the U.S. is astounding. The work ethic he put into achieving the things he wanted to achieve as well is crazy. It's impossible to not make mistakes in life, of course. It's just rough when you're in the when you're in the spotlight and people can notice every mistake you make. I mean, literally nobody's perfect. Everybody makes mistakes. This is pretty good. It starts my leveling process pretty nicely. Hey. Thank you for the fault for the sub tier one sub from Beanstalk Eleven. Gifted it to Art Max. Thank you for the gifted sub, buddy. That's very kind of you. Art Max, enjoy the new emotes, my friend. I hope you do. And yeah, thanks a lot, man. Very, very kind. Thanks, buddy. Rate of eight. Wow, he's gonna actually take the block there. Wow, I did. I did not expect that. could actually use this, get the 6 out of 8. Wow, 7 out of 8. That's pretty sick. I think I will do this now. You can also force a get excited out of him. Save Glimpse, I'm saving it. Oh my god. We got the level up, boys. Holy crap. That's so disgusting. Alright, let's level up. That's pretty disgusting. I guess you can win them all. I guess you can win them all. Draw a card. And do one AoE on this. If I if I draw into what can I draw into here? Only Parley, right? But that would require for him to that actually kills him if he attacks me. It puts him down to three HP. Seven six challenger elusive, yeah. That seems pretty solid. And I have blockers for whatever he plays afterwards. He could play a Teemo, that's about it. Parley, if, Parley would be good if he plays Teemo afterwards. We're losing one Gangplank, unfortunately. Wait, oh, really? He's just going to let it live? That's a risky play. That is a risky play.
Letting TF live, yeah. I'm not I'm not a fan. It's pretty risky. Um this is too AoE to everything. The next card we play, right? Vengeance is really nice. This will level both of these. I'm not going to play well yet, because there's a world where I need to um, play more cards this turn. I don't know. I don't like Will here very much. I think this attack is really good. So he's dying to a hit here. Okay. Now we don't need to play anything else. We're fine. There's no need to play anything else here. Don't lose TF to a Twin Disciplines. I can't because I have this, right? I have that dealing damage for me. I am the blade in the darkness. All the now you want to play this deck so bad. It's been it's been doing, it's 4-0, right? At the moment, I think. We are 4-0 with this deck. Like, Teemo's the only play he has here. Yeah, that's fine. That does literally nothing to us. If you open attacks, we're kind of good there. Okay, let him do his thing. Let him do his thing. Ahem. <clears throat> I'm going to let Teemo hit me. I have enough healing that I don't think one damage is a big deal. I want to see what he plays afterwards. He might play buffs on this. I might have to play like um, two more cards such as the box plus glimpse. That was an option always. And now we can just kill both, right? So he has the knight here and now we kill both. No, 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 no. Withering is wrong there, I think. Yeah, so we're, we're really good here. That's game over. He was just out of options. 5-0, boys. 5-0. I, li I like this deck. It feels like a really good fit at the moment. Wait, we winning? Yeah, 5-0, man. 5-0 with this deck. Maokai Nautilus. How am I supposed to beat that? I really don't know. I can't win with this combo because he has so much removal for them. Like, he's not an early game. I don't really need the early game draws. But these two never do the work I need them to do, I think. Maybe I should have kept, um, kept Ledros. There's an argument for that. Can you speak German? Nine. I cannot, unfortunately. Rush TF. Too easy to kill. He has too much removal for TF. Not a very good um, unit. It's good for the 4-1. I kind of play into Withering Whale if I attack here. It's a bit annoying. I don't even want to give him the toss by killing this. Fresh is worth twice as much. So we found the card we wanted to find him having. Let's start leveling GP. Make a command. Command for what? I rarely forget, I never forget. Keep a copy of Champion in hand always, I agree. Make a command for the languages question. Nah, I don't mind answering it. I don't mind answering the question. No monkey idol to level up GP, not in this deck. It's not really a GP deck. Like, GP is just a bonus to this deck. Going down to 4 HP is fine with this. I just need to start um, getting levels. That's 2 out of 5. This will play in his turn, usually. It's not a big deal. Atrocity is gone, times 1. I like that. I like that a lot. 5 of the summons a keg. Basically, yeah. Deep counters me. It might counter me. I'll, I'll have to wait and see how this feels. He hasn't really gone deep super fast here. That's a runation, right? I still don't mind if he runates here. Because I have um, Rekindler coming down next turn. And I can repopulate the board. I just want these points. 3 out of 5 is nice. It's a good feeling. So yeah, if you want to runate this board, be my guest. That's a really good draw. Vengeance is great here. Plays around Nautilus really well. Grasp. 
Okay. It's actually fine. As long as this is hitting face, I get to go for the level up here. I mean, now he can't Ruination next turn, which is nice. I wonder if I can find a way to um, activate this on his turn to level him up. I'm not sure I can. It depends what I draw. TF would be a really good draw here. So I'm, I'm assuming Nautilus plays here, and I'm going for Vengeance. We've got a really good open attack as well once we play Dreadway deckhand. Yeah, he can't Ruinate at 8 mana. Is that better than this? Box probably is better. Don't use box. He can fill the board. Maybe you're right. I think you're right. I think I shouldn't use box here. Grasmus, you have two. Yeah, I agree. I'm just going to Vile Feast this to death. And we're just going to drop on Dreadway and attack. There's an argument to be made to play another Spiderling as well. 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Wow, we're, we're one off lethal. Because if we attack with everything here, we're one off lethal. 2, 3, plus 6 is 9. 13, 16. He'd be down to 1 HP. I think I think he always has answers though, so it's not really um, a feasible lethal to go for. That's a really good card. I have to open attack, obviously. Well, Feast, Powder Keg. Not worth it. That's a really good top deck. We're dropping him down to 1 here. What's his follow up here? Vengeance. Okay. I think we just let this go through. There's not much I can do about that. We're looking to win next turn at this point. We want to kill off whatever he drops. Not to give him board presence. I think we'll go for two damage face. At this point. I want this to guarantee hit face. Two to face is really strong. Yeah, 25. He needs to wipe my board. If he wipes my board, that sucks because I have no units in hand. TF is really good here. Does he ruinate? Five to all units. I can't help that. All right, the big question now is what do I do with TF? Do I, do I play TF to draw a card or do I do it to do one damage to face? I think I draw a card with this because I don't have units on board. I think drawing is correct. It has to be. Blue card, yeah. I could draw I could draw like into a gangplank, which would be sick. I could draw into Rekindler, which is pretty sick. That's not a bad card either. It actually damages face. So Maokai's dead. Yellow. <laughs> I mean not Nautilus is dead, sorry, not Maokai. Nautilus is dead. You have to kill him off. I could have played this first, actually. I wonder if that was correct. Maybe I should have played Vile Feast to push for one more damage. I think that I think I misplayed. I should have gone for this. No, not Ledros. My heart. Wow, that sucks. That actually sucks. I have to open attack. I need him to waste mana on this. Okay, I'm fine with that. He can't play Nautilus. Gangplank is leveled. He can't kill Gangplank on command. How's your day been, buddy? It's been really good, man. It's been fantastic. This deck is 5-0. Probably about to be 5-1, unfortunately. But we take what we can. You need the deck code. TFGP. So I should get two. Um, I should get the barrel because I leveled up on drop, right? This is pretty solid. I can make this a 3-3. I'm a little worried about Ruination. This is dealing 3 damage, right? Yeah, this is not a bad draw either. I think that has to be right. I'm looking at a really thick box if he plays a lot of sea monsters now. I need to be able to kill off his 6 attack sea monsters consistently. I have to block. Can I ever not block? 
I, I, I lose to Atrocity if I don't block here. Box. I will box here, 100%. The problem is he can drop one one um one mana units. That's the problem. I have to block because he has atrocity. He's only discarded one atrocity so far. Right? That's good. So he has nothing in hand. I guess now is the turn to play Vile Feast for one more damage to face. And we have this to push a bit more overwhelm damage. I wonder what order we hit this in. I think we go last with this. Two damage to face. I didn't have enough heal to stop his atrocity win. Vengeance coming down. If he has a vengeance, that really sucks. He's down to one if he has vengeance, right? Atrocity. I have no way to get through that. I need a I need a rekindler. He doesn't have vengeance in hand, which is pretty good for me. What a weird game. Come on, rekindler or something good. That's oh oh, give me that value. All right, all right. We might have a we we might have a lethal here if he doesn't have a grasp or something. We no, he has a lot of healing cards, guys. It's not over yet. It depends what he plays. I don't even know if it's right to do it. Like a part of me is thinking I should be playing um, blue card here, to draw more. Oh, that's true. I can kill my own minion. Never mind. You're 100% correct. Hopefully no whale. Come on, grasp. Grasp is your answer, buddy. Grasp is your answer. Do it. Got him, boys. <laughs> Got him! 6 and 0! Oh. 6 and 0! Oh. That's what I'm talking about! This is a good hand. I look like Set from League. I don't know who Set is. I don't play League of Legends, so... Change the board? Oh, somebody did. Somebody did. You guys gotta remind me. I, I, I tend to forget things pretty quickly. Because I'm thinking about other stuff. Look him up is true. I believe you. I believe it. It's a pretty good follow-up. I can't do the keg because it gives him a lot of value. Ah, it's a bad one. It's a bit unfortunate. Alright, so this is Casino. Um, he does have a lot of ways to remove my units, unfortunately. I'm a little worried about TF here. I gotta admit, I'm a little bit worried about TF here. It kind of messes up my, my groove a lot. But if he doesn't have TF, I'm in a really good spot as well. Draven is coming. Else? This is pretty strong now. I'm just gonna take this now. Kill off all three of these. No, he doesn't have very good blockers anymore. I can just attack with these three. Hey, SS Cox. Thank you for the Prime sub. Three months. Didn't watch you yesterday. Did you win a lot of games? Not really. Yesterday was an experimentation day where we lost a lot of games, actually. So no, I did not win a lot of games yesterday. But yeah, thank you for the resub, man. Thank you very much. Dropping this low is really, really, really useful. If he gets a low roll, I can be good. Oh no! Not oh yeah, dude. What are you talking about, oh yeah? What do you mean, oh yeah? It's horrible for me. The real wins are the friends you make along the way. True. There is truth in that. I support that message. Targon Teaser is out. I doubt they would do it at 5.50 a.m. Brazilian time. I really doubt that. I disagree with his plays of um, hurting this guy. I think he should be holding off and letting him get buffed. Be out of my removal range, at least. But hey, it's his, it's his choice. What he wishes to do. We've got a pretty good make it rain opener. Alright, so now, now I feel like I'm forced to kill that, no matter what happens. I, I gotta kill it next. Oh, no. Oh, no! Oh, that's bad. Okay, here we go. This is the big turn. Low roll! No HP! No HP! No HP! No HP! That's twice in a row he gets all HP, dude! How's that possible? <laughs> no! <laughs> Why do you roll HP twice in a row only HP? That's insane! I can't beat that. 
He's gonna get so many stats. That's a big problem. Why no Monkey Idol to level up GP? Because it's not a GP level up deck. It's not focused around GP leveling. GP leveling is just a bonus. This is focused around controlling the board, beating aggro at their own game. And they always have multiple jinxes as well. Feels bad. Guys, I think we lost. I think this might be game. Slothlet about to be huge next turn. He is. Oh my god. Now let me get now it all goes to attack when it doesn't matter. Yeah. Yeah, that's um that's that's unfortunate. Yeah, Slotbot's gonna be a really big pain in the butt. We have double GP and uh Rekindler though, so if we can get the overwhelm hits to work, I could see a win being scraped out of nowhere. I'm always up for a round or two. This is the most non-toxic streamer I've ever seen. Hey, thank you, Dennis. Thanks, buddy. I've always tried to be non-toxic. This is a good Withering Whale. I do like it a lot. Pulls in the GP, right? Yeah. Oh boy. Um, I guess we're just gonna block this. If he has an answer to this guy, so this this lives, I, I might just lose the game instantly. If he has a way to kill this off for 3 mana. I'm hoping he doesn't. Yeah, I'm in. Um, I'm in a lot of trouble. I'm in a lot of trouble. Don't worry. I read all about this. This, I'm literally losing only because of Slotbot as well. That's the sad part. I'm only losing because of Slotbot here. I just can't seem to beat it. We're gonna have to gangplank something with this. I think we're gonna kill off uh, Twisted Fate. I think. Oh my god! How do I win? Like, what, what's my what's my win condition here? I can't kill off um, Jinx this turn, and he's gonna level up Jinx probably. He's gonna get the rocket, kill off everything. Yeah, I mean, I'm I'm losing a slot bot basically. He got double rolls on defense twice in a row when it counted. I don't think I can beat this. What can I draw top deck wise? I guess grasp is pretty good. Like a top deck grasp is pretty decent. Opponent disconnecting, true. There is truth in that. All right, well, let's see what we can find. He doesn't have um, Challenger, which is nice. We did find the Grasp, thankfully. If he has double unit in hand, for example, I could also kill him before he can get his level up off. So block here. Um, kill this dude off. Block here, I guess. It's the best we have. Hopefully he doesn't have the Jinx. If he has... Okay, so he... Let me guess. Third Jinx. Jinx number three. Please don't be a Jinx number three. Please don't be a third Jinx. That's all I ask for, bro. This is a real spin to win. <sighs> Thank God. Is there a point using this now? They're all 1 HP. I think we glimpse now while we still can before he can deny that. <sighs> Make it rain is a really decent card. And GP is a really good card. Okay. Okay, GP is really good. Make it rain is really good here. TF would be amazing. So if he has a Jinx here, we actually have an answer to Jinx. Let's attack here. I'll take that. To get as much value off of um, the drain as possible. I need the drain to be good enough. Actually, do I ever play this now? I don't think I do. I think I just go crazy ham now. I don't think I drain yet. Plus, he hasn't. 
Oh my god, 1-8, really? He can Mystic. Get excited would be an interesting card to have there. Maybe I should have attacked with this first in case he doesn't block it. I don't think he ever takes the full hit. That's the thing. Down to five. How far is GP from leveling? Um, that was going to level him there. But I don't think I want to spend this yet to make it rain. I think he's forced to use his damage card now before if he has a damage card in hand. I don't think he can ever let this go through. I think he has to go for the lethal. I think. Yep. So he had the card originally. It just simply was there. So we'll, we'll go for the full drain on this guy to lower his stats. Like, he can't afford to let me get this through, right? The glimpse. It's too much, um... That's a really good card. Wow, that's a really good card too. If it's a Jinx top deck, I mean, so screwed, but I don't think it is. So let's um, let's lower this more, drop it down to four. I think Glimpse is pretty good here as well. Maybe I should have Glimpsed first. I think I should have done that first. Actually, no, we'll, we'll end round here. Oh, I should have played Salvage. I messed up, I messed up with the Salvage. Harley is really good. No Jinx top deck, please. I'm actually kind of losing to a Jinx top deck, funny enough. Oh no, I should have drawn first. Okay, I'm making misplay. Stop misplaying Grappler, come on. Come on, Grapp. Come on, dude, what am I doing? I actually lose the Jinx. I should have drawn first. Not that it made a difference, but I should have drawn first. Fuck. I might have lost here. Is it a top deck burn card? It can't be. Come on. Drain card. Any drain card. Any drain card. Yes! Baby! That's what I'm talking about. <sighs> I have faith, guys. The god. Yes, sir. The god, indeed. Four drain. Hell yes. Hell yes, boys. Hell yes. We make the comeback. The taverns will sing our tale this <sighs> that feels really, really good.